Sometimes life seems to be hard and we feel lost, confused and angry. We feel so overwhelmed and devastated and things seem to be out of control. In those kind of moment, we start to put the blame on others. On life, we start to feel sorry for ourselves, wishing things to be different and better, wishing we weren't in this bad position, wondering why it is happening to us. We start automatically considering ourselves as victims to comfort ourselves. But when life knocks us down, we need to step back and learn how to control ourselves. Mentally strong people know how to handle those kind of situation by gratitude. But the first step before gratitude is expressing their negative thoughts. By expressing them you release yourself from negative energy that can be in you. You allow yourself to think clearly and objectively with cleaning your mind from negativity. Without this step you cannot be strong enough to resolve any issue in your life. This leads to a toxic positivity that can make you so weak mentally and hold you from developing yourself. This step make your decision wiser because you'll be able to understand things objectively and put aside your feelings and emotions. Therefore, instead of putting yourself in a victim position because of your circumstance, you'll be able to focus on how to change them or making them better. You'll learn how to be grateful even if you are living the worst period of your life by trying to understand what his life wants to teach you. What is she trying to give you? And how can you make this lesson useful for you? Some of us feel constantly the need of controlling everything. They always want to do things themselves to get done as they want. They always feel the need to control their relationships and their most loved person. They became obsessed with controlling everything. His superhero complex affect a lot their relationships and mental health. They suffer from anxiety and trust issue. They tend to be perfectionists, and at the end they find themselves stuck in a vicious circle when they are obsessed by controlling everything. But sometimes things aren't always as they want, so they try harder and became anxious and exhausted. A great example of this is Terry Fox who has a severe type of bone cancer so young. As a result his legs were amputated and was told that the chances of beating the illness are so low. However, before his surgery, Fox became inspired by a person who ran the New York Marathon with a prosthetic leg. After the operation, Fox completed his first marathon and decided to raise money for cancer research by finding sponsors. Unfortunately, halfway through his journey, Fox was forced to quit for health reasons. His cancer had returned. Sponsorship money continued to pour in as people became inspired by his story. Just months later, Fox raised $23 million for cancer research in the months leading up to his death. Fox didn't focus on the events that were out of his control. Instead, he focused on what he can control, which certainly helped a lot of people who are suffering from cancer. Be grateful of what you already have and try to find what advantage do you have to use them in your favor instead of complaining or envy people for what they already have. Mentally strong people do not feel sorry for themselves, they never allow others to have negative impact on them. They embrace change and they are aware that they cannot control every aspect of their life. Of course, that doesn't mean that you have to ignore every feeling and become a stone. That means that you have to face your feeling and understand them. Feel them. So, if you're serious about becoming mentally strong, you should begin by embrace loneliness, paying attention to your feelings, and examining your thoughts. Therefore, you can determine where your weaknesses lie and work on strengthening yourself and your mind. Remember, it is self-pity versus gratitude.